So what's up guys, I'm just at home today, another day at work, and I thought I'd give you a video on how to pack for a ski touring day. Now when I say a ski touring day, I mean a day that's just uh, not on a glacier, where you just go up to the top of a peak somewhere and you ski back down, so no abseiling or major rope work needed. So this is what I carry on my ski tour, but first things first, let's change to this camera, okay? So, three, two, one. So, what have we got here? Let's just go through everything that I take first and then we can go into how I actually pack it into the bag. So I guess the most important part is probably the bag. That's a Solomon uh, X Alp 23. Now I might take a slightly larger bag if I'm going slightly further or if I've got to carry more equipment or more warm clothing but that one seems to work really well for just a short quick day tour where there's not much uh, kind of climbing involved. The next thing that we can look at here is probably the rope and, and uh, sling. I quite often just put this into uh, the bag is an emergency thing, but sometimes I don't. But it's quite light, quite small, so maybe that one will go in there as well. A shovel, shovel handle, uh, obviously essential for uh, avalanche rescue as well as the probe. Got a little ski strap there, lightweight down jacket, helmet, goggles, woolly hat or beanie if you want to call it that, insulated shorts, emergency mitts, got a bit of food there. I might not carry half a kilo of peanuts, but it's just to represent kind of just about how much food I take on a day out. Uh, maybe I'd take half of those. Uh, water, and that one is energy drink. So I'll be sipping on that one during the day. Uh, and then I'll have the water on the top or if I'm getting a bit thirsty, but I won't typically carry much more than that. That's 750 milliliters. If I'm going a longer day, obviously yeah, I'll carry more. Uh, sun cream, first aid kit. And just in here we've got a little multi-tool, it's got a Phillips head, a couple of Allen keys. This is a star-shaped um, a star -shaped Allen key for like plum bindings or uh, some of the Dynafit bindings take that one. I think it's a Torx 25, I could be wrong. GoPro, pretty much always carry that. A pair of sunglasses, maybe they will be on my head. Got a pair of gloves, I normally just take one sort of finished pair and an emergency pair if I'm going ski touring. Sometimes if it's colder I'll carry something a bit thicker. Skins and then in here we've got crampons. Now I've only really got like quite heavy steel crampons because I'm a bit of a traditional kind of old school climber but I definitely do want to get some more lightweight kind of alloy crampons. So that's pretty much everything that goes into my bag. Now let me show you how I put it in. Okay, so with the bag here, it's quite useful. They've got a nice uh, long pocket which goes down the side, so I quite often just put my my shovel handle and my probe down the side of there, and it just sort of stays out of the way and, and uh, easy to get to if you need it. So shove that in there. So we don't have to think about that anymore, it doesn't get in the way. And then inside the main compartment of this bag, you'll be able to see there's a little Velcro strap here. That's actually quite useful when you put the shovel blade in like that. That little Velcro strap can just pop over the top of, of the shovel there and it just holds it nicely uh, in place in there. And it that shovel just provides a nice firm um, support for everything that goes inside. So if you're putting your camera or, or water, nothing's going to poke through there. And the rope's probably the least least useful thing, so that's going to go in into the bag first. And I'm just going to shove that right down into the bottom. Uh, so my spare water, I'll probably put that in there. I'll put put it carefully so it's not going to get trapped against anything and and squirt everywhere. Uh, first aid kit can go in there as well at the bottom. Two little multi-tools. I've got a little zip pocket in here, so I quite often just kind of shove those down in there and zip those up. That's maybe where I keep my, my uh, house and car keys as well if I need to. Uh, ski strap, that can also go in that little pocket. Okay, this sports drink has got a really neat little pocket on the front here. I quite like to just shove, shove that down in there. So that's just nice and easy to get to when I'm ski touring and it's, yeah, just gives me a nice little sip of... Um, energy and, and water just to keep my body going. And let's put the down jacket in there. I gen generally just shove those in. I don't really bother with um, with 
bags or anything. If it's going to get wet, it'll dry out the next day. It doesn't need to be in a plastic bag as well. What I might do is, with the, uh, with the goggles, is I put that inside my beanie. Um, if I'm wearing like a, a headband or something going up, So I've still got some space that I can put my skins in here as well, so they just basically shove down in there. Now they'll either be on or they'll be, uh, they'll be in this compartment, so as long as I can fit them in, at least for the way down, it doesn't matter too much. So that's everything in the bag. Now if I'm ski touring up, what I might do is I might put my helmet on the outside, and yeah, and pretty much all that's left here is gloves and some sunglasses so yeah so that's pretty much how I would pack my bag to go ski touring everything's in there it's it's a bit of a tight fit like that but if I needed to carry a bigger bag I've got a bigger option as well but it works pretty well just for a quick easy day out maybe maybe like four or five hours of ski touring and just ski down once so yeah that's how I do it and uh, in the next video in this series we'll have a look at how I pack my ski mountaineering bag so if I'm gonna be actually using crampons and an ice axe definitely or if I'm going to be doing any abseiling or any rope work, I have to pack my bag slightly differently. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers guys, bye. Here we are, hacking up Lazouche. Feels nice to do a bit of exercise, God. I haven't really done much in the last month. <laughs>